Hello everyone, I have some interesting information for you. So Kentucky lawmakers would like to make it illegal to insult police officers. An article from CBS News goes as follows. A bill moving through Kentucky Senate would make it a crime to insult or taunt a police officer during a riot. Supporters say the bill targets people who unlawfully cross the line but opponents call it a blatant attempt to crush protests and a violent and a violation of First Amendment rights. Senate Bill 211 mandates up to three months imprisonment for a person who accosts, insults, taunts, or challenges a law enforcement officer with offensive or divisive words, or makes gestures or other physical contact that would have a direct tendency to provoke a violent response from the perspective of a reasonable and prudent person. A person convicted of this misdemeanor charge would also face a $250 fine and be disqualified from public assistance benefits for three months. I'm lost for words. The bill also has a provision pushing back on the uh, defund the police movement, stating that government entities that fund law enforcement agencies must maintain and improve their respective financial support. So the police budget isn't big enough. The bill advanced through the Senate's Veterans Military Affairs and Public Protection Committee on Thursday in a 7-3 vote with only Republicans supporting it. It now moves to the full Senate and could be passed there as early as next week and would then need to be passed in the House. Republicans control both chambers of Kentucky's legislature CBS News requested comment from State Senator David Corral, a Republican and retired police officer. So a retired police officer is leading this charge. Go figure. Uh, he's the bill's lead sponsor. Following publication of this story, he wrote an email. After looking at your headline, I don't think I have anything to say to you. I missed the time when we actually had unbiased journalists. Okay, so... This is absolutely insane. So basically what they want to do is, in layman's terms, is they want to make it illegal, as I just read to you, to insult or, you know, provide dissent upon law enforcement officers. Let me put this in a perspective. So follow me here. You're at a protest, right? Things get kind of testy. And you look at a police officer after things have gotten kind of testy, a lot of people are riled up. And let's say... You drop an F-bomb directed towards him and you shoot him a bird. You'll go to jail for three months. Welcome to Nazi Germany. That's, I mean, that's, is that not what this is? They're taking away rights, basically. They're, this, is a, this is an assault on not only democracy, but the First Amendment as a whole. You can't insult or provide dissent to police officers. This is the very definition of a totalitarian authoritative police state. Is it not? Is it not? I mean, Jesus Christ, like, where do you draw the line? What's disruptive language? What's decisive words? What do you classify as a taunt or an insult? Police officers have beat people up in the past for looking at them the wrong way. They have. They beat, they killed people for these types of uh, actions. And you expect me to think that they'll draw the line on what is considered an accost or an insult or a challenge? You can't challenge a police officer? What do you constitute to be a challenge? This is so insane. When did law enforcement officers all of a sudden become the victim? When? And... What I want to say first is, I think that police officers are needed. Of course, who's going to stop the quote unquote bad guys? I think that they do a good job at times. But the fact of the matter is, and something that I don't think that can be disputed under any circumstances, is that the way we police in this country needs to be transformed dramatically. And the things uh, surrounding law enforcement as a whole needs to be changed, whether it's the budget, whether it's the demilitarization of the police, whatever the case may be. Like there's reasonable arguments 
as to why policing isn't good. You know, there's reasonable criticisms of police, of law enforcement, but not to these people, not to the people on the right. No, 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 no. Police, every time you see a law enforcement officer, they think you should just blow him. You know, like they're somehow absolved of all wrongdoings and they can do no wrong, essentially. No, 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 no. Every time you get in trouble with the police, it's your fault and it's something that you did. And now they're trying to make it to where in Kentucky, you can't even insult, taunt, challenge, whatever the fuck that's supposed to mean. And what constitutes a riot? You know, what if it's just a peaceful protest? And we've seen how police act toward peaceful protesters. And if you act a certain way, if you act hostily towards a person, human nature, they're going to act hostile back. And then that person is going to get beat up by that police officer because the police officer has the right to do that. It's not me saying that they have the right to do that. That's them because they have the badge. They have all the power. Right. And after they beat you up for challenging them, they'll take you to jail for three months and they'll get rid of your uh, you'll lose public assistance benefits. <laughs> this is absolutely insane. Oh, and you'll get fined two hundred and fifty dollars. So you lose two hundred fifty dollars public assistance benefits and you go to jail for three months. For disrespecting a law enforcement officer. Wow. Wow. Then this is all they have. This is all the right has is culture war grievances and bullshit. I've said this plenty of times. This is they, they don't have policies that will actually help the people. Right. They talk bad about defund the police. But what does it actually mean? They don't really care what it means. They don't care that it means, OK, let's take the funds or some of the funds from that we give to police and provide it elsewhere, such as education, which is so very needed. Let's put it towards mental health officials that can come and help people that are experiencing uh, mental crises, right? Instead of guys with guns and bulletproof vests that only know how to beat things down. You know, if all you have is a hammer, everything looks like a nail. Man, this is crazy. This is crazy. They're actually trying to victimize the police as if it's the public the general public that's running around killing unarmed policemen. I've never seen anything like it, man. I've never seen anything like it. They want to turn this country into a police state. Some would say it already is. But man, with the way that this bill is going and how it's progressing, it could very well be passed. It might actually get passed. And with the way the courts are set up, with how the Republicans have stacked the courts with these far right um judges and you know it's a 6-3 conservative supreme court at the moment i mean i don't see this getting overturned maybe it will maybe it won't i don't know also who says that it just has to be during a protest with how much these guys manipulate and bend the law as it is you could just be a regular joe walking down the street and shoot a police officer a wrong look and he can pounce on you and throw you in jail for three months i mean this is so disastrous the fact that it's even progressing through is mind boggling to me, or maybe it's not. This is a direct assault upon the First Amendment. Making it a crime to insult a police officer. Wow.